Hello everyone. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the workspace in Oracle Apex. A workspace is an array within Oracle Apex where you create your application. To create an application, you first must create an access to a workspace. Each workspace is associated one or more schemas. Build applications that interact with database objects in that schema. Create new database objects in that schema. One or more developers and end users can access to a workspace. As shown in the graphic one, a single Oracle database can contain multiple Oracle application express workspace. In this example, you can see developers A, B, and C. Different workspace 1, 2, 3, and uh, different schema C, O, E, S, H, and H, R. A and B have access to WS1. In addition, B also access to WS2. C ex can access to WS2 and WS3. Each workspace has access to one or more database schemas. For example, WS1 has access to OE and SH. WS2 um, has access to SH. And WS3 has access to HR. Multiple developers can work using the same database instance from different workspaces or the same workspace with access to the same or different schema. Thus, Oracle Apex application turns a single Oracle database into a wide shared workgroup database service. This service can be accessed through a browser with no installation required no, on, on desktop for the developer and the end user. First, we need to know what is an internal workspace? Look at uh, the graphic too. Internal workspace is a special workspace that is created by default when application is best installed. This workspace is only accessible to instant administrators. The internal workspace is used to create and manage workspaces in application express instance. Here, I have already created the Oracle Apex instance in Oracle Cloud. Later, I will demonstrate to you step by step how to create a work, um, workspace. See the next graphic, define roles. Uh, there are four roles are defined in Oracle Apex. Instance administrator, workspace administrator, developer, and end user. Instance Administrator manages the entire Oracle Application Express instance, including Service Administration and Workspace Administration. The Instance Administrator manages the workspace or the users, and is also responsible for managing section state and monitoring the user age as a whole. The default Oracle Application Express Administration Privileged user is admin. The following tasks are performed by the instance administrator. Create workspace and workspace administrator. Manager service and section state. When the instance administrators create uh, the workspace administrator, then the work administ uh, workspace administrator can Create developers and users, views workspace usage reports, performs all tasks and uh, of developer. Developer creates and modifies applications and uh, database objects. End user runs application. Um, I will assume I have already logged in the Oracle uh, cloud and uh, there is uh, one Oracle Apex instance demo. I launched Apex. Input the password. This is the internal workspace, and uh, uh, the username is the mean password. 
and assigning the administration. I created the new workspace schema. I'll give it a name WS by We can see the workspace, existing workspace. The same, I will create another two workspace, workspace two and workspace three. And uh, two. You can see we have already created uh, uh, three workspace, one, two, three, and uh, click the one. You can see the workspace name and uh, yeah. The, the first schema provision, yeah, it's here. Then I will create the Create the developers and the users, manager developer and users, because uh, uh, this workspace is it's, uh, internal and is a super administrator, so uh, they can manage the developers and the users. I will create user developer A. And the email address I use email address. And the workspace workspace I first I um, I choose the WS one and the debugger A is related to workspace one. And it is uh, is a debugger and I give it a password. You can see the developer A is created. The same. The default schema are oh, yeah. Don't. I will choose the default schema and I create another developer. To and email address uh, workspace I select WS two. Schema is also. I use it as a administrator. No, I give it uh, uh, the role is the developer and the password. password. Also, I created another. Another developer. <laughs> See, also good. Workspace, I choose the workspace three. And the uh, default scheme is this. And I choose <coughs> is no. User is developer, yes. Password, I'll okay, give it a name. You can see I created uh, um, the admin user. Admin user is the administrator and the developer. He can access editor and uh, the application. The administrator administrator has access to assign uh, to manage the developer and the end users. 
Then <coughs> developer, um, developer, developer A is the workspace is WS1, and uh, I, but uh, I, I will change the um, WS1, WS1 um, to change the schema, WS1 schema, data schema, I change it to WS2. Then you can see the, <coughs> you can see the, the developer tool. Uh, sorry, developer. It depends for it. Hmm? Depends for it. Oh, depends for it. Sorry. If you update the unit, you must put. Oh, yeah. You can see the debugger A and debugger B um, has different has different workspace WS1 and WS2, but uh, they have the same schema, same schema because I have already changed the changed the schema for the WS1 and uh, um, debugger C has access to the the uh, workspace WS3 but uh, they um, they can access the WS WS3 schema but uh, I I want to change the uh, developer C to the schema WS2 how to change it how to um, how to solve this problem and I need to create another um, another user. Uh, you can see I <coughs> all the users are created. Admin is the workspace is internal and uh, administrator one two three the workspace one two three. But uh, the ABC ABC is the uh, is the developer. The role is a developer. Admin admin is the administrator of the three workspace. But uh, you can see A and B has different workspace but the same schema. And developer C has space has space workspace uh, three and uh, the schema is a three. And I want to change I want to change the developer C can access the WS2 schema. And I need to create a user. E C. Then I give it a email. And I I just choose the WS2 because the schema is WS2. And uh, no, uh, developer is it. Password. And you can see A and B have different uh, workspace, but they have the um, same schema WS2. And the developer C has different uh, workspace, and one of them has the access to the um, WS2 schema. Then uh, this is the administ uh, administrator instance, and I logged out. I used the administrator to log in. WS1, and uh, the, this is the W developer A, and uh, sign in. We can. Also, 
divide by a. This is the developer, and they can create the application and uh, developer in this workspace. And I um, sign out. And I use the workspace, and I use the administrator to log in. Administrator one, and you can see the different users. Uh, this uh, this is the developer, and this is the administrator. Administrator has a function um, can manage users groups. They can. They can create the new user and uh, give it the role.